Sometimes it takes a little time to get used to the way that we graph things in economics and to the skills that we need to interpret what's happening in those graphs. So I'd like to give you a chance to practice a little bit with those skills, the kinds of skills we used in the previous two modules to talk about demand curves. Remember, how much you demand of a good depends on a lot of things. It depends on the price of the good, but it also depends on your income, on other prices, and perhaps some other things as well. So when we graph the demand curve, we graph the curve where we put the quantity of gasoline on the horizontal axis and the price of gasoline on the vertical. So we graph the curve that told us the quantity that you demand as price changes, but we held income fixed, we held other prices fixed, and we held everything else that might matter fixed as well. The only thing we allowed to vary was what we put on the vertical axis, the price of the good. And we then got our downward sloping demand curve that told us the higher the price gets, the lower the quantity is that will demand. Now suppose I asked you to graph a different kind of curve. Now instead of putting price on the vertical axis, we'll put income on the vertical axis. And we'll keep gasoline on the horizontal axis. So now I'm asking you to graph what's the quantity demanded, not as price changes, we'll hold price fixed, but as income changes, when we hold other prices fixed as well, and everything else that might matter also. So now we let income vary, and we want to see how does the quantity you demand of gasoline change as income changes. What will that curve look like? Will it be upward sloping? Will it be downward sloping? And does that depend on whether the good, gasoline, is a normal good or an inferior good? Or suppose that I ask you to graph the quantity demanded of gasoline as the price of car maintenance changes. So now we are asking you to draw the quantity demanded, holding the price of gasoline fixed, holding income fixed, but allowing the price of car maintenance to change, but other prices still held fixed, as well as everything else that might matter. What would the curve in this picture look like? Would it be upward sloping? Would it be downward sloping? How could you tell? Or suppose that I asked you to graph how the quantity of gasoline changes as the price of bus rides changes. So now I'm asking you to draw the relationship between the quantity demanded and the price of buses. So the demand holding the price of gasoline fixed, holding income fixed, letting the price of bus rides vary, but holding other prices and everything else fixed as well. What would that relationship look like? Would it be upward sloping or would it be downward sloping? And then in each of those cases you could ask, what causes me to move along the curve and what might cause the curve to shift? In the case of demand curves we said, the only thing that can move us along the curve is a change in what appears on the vertical axis. As the price of gasoline changes, we move along the demand curve to read off how the quantity demanded changes, because that's the definition of the demand curve. Anything else, anything that we held fixed, if that changes, it's going to shift the demand curve. Well, something similar should be true in these other cases. So think about what might shift the curves and what might cause you to move along those curves.